Hey guys, what's up? It's PC Helper here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game Resident Evil Biohazard 7 on your PC. So, to fix this problem, follow the steps below. Number 1. Change the video settings. So, number 1, firstly go to your game. In options, go to your video settings. In video settings, turn off vsync, first of all, turn off the vsync then turn off dynamic shadows and shadow cache after you turn off these three things change ambient conclusion to SSAO so that's all for vsync you can also f try reducing the settings to low by reducing the resolution of your game and other graphics to low for better performance but these settings will be enough if your PC is compatible with the game and meet the system requirements so number two download a game booster downloading a game booster is very helpful in increasing performance of a game as it puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game so the game booster which I recommend you is Razer Cortex game booster so just search on Google download Razer game booster and go to the first link That is www.razorzone.com slash cortex slash boost. And here, in the top, click download. And then you will be on this page. Thank you for choosing Razor Cortex. For once it will get downloaded, it is very easy to use. So I don't think there is any need to show you how to use this software all you have to do is just install it and add your game which you want to increase the performance in this video that is resident evil 7 biohazard so just add your game in the software and run with the razor cortex game booster so that's what you have to do with the game booster number three change the priority of the game to high so now I'm not going to run the game because right now I'm capturing the video so it will affect the video if I run the game. So changing the priority to high for any software is I'm going to give you an example. For example, um, I'll open Windows Store. So once you open Windows Store, just go to your task manager. And in task manager go to a windows stores right click on it and go to its details and in its details win store app.exe right click on it and set priority to high all you have to do is with the game resident evil 7 open the game and right click on the resident evil 7 file here and go to its detail and set its priority to high once you open it that also does the same, it puts maximum of your PC's RAM and running that particular software or program which you have selected the priority to high. Number 4. Delete temporary files. Deleting temporary files is a temporary fix of reducing lag but it works but for a short period of time only. Temporary files are just junk files which, cre which are created by time so you need to clean them time to time so just go to a run command box run and type temp continue and delete all the files here Con select all and delete permanently delete all the files here no need to worry that because all these files are junk Close. Now again go to your run command box and type percentage sign then temp temp and again percentage sign press enter here also select all the files and delete them permanently these again are also junk files so no need to worry before deleting them and skip the files 
which are not being deleted. Now go to your my computer and it go to it, your local disk C and in local disk C go to Windows and in Windows go to prefetch. Here it is prefetch. Continue and also delete all the files here. Permanently delete all these files. These are also junk files and skip the files which are not being deleted. So that's also a temporary fix. Number five is updating your drivers. It's one of the most important step because nowadays the games require a lot of your system's RAM, a lot of latest so graphic card and drivers. So you need to keep your PC up to date before running those games to run them more efficiently without lag and with more FPS. So you need to keep your PC updated and to update your drivers there are two options number one is you can just go to a my computer right click on it go to its properties go to your device manager and in your device manager you can go to a display adapters for me it's AMD Radeon HD right click on it and update driver software search automatically for updated drivers then it will search online for software but that th this way of updating your drivers may not work sometimes sometimes it does not give you latest information about your drivers so what I recommend you is as you can see the best driver of your software for your device is already installed it's showing but sometime it may be wrong so what I recommend you is you just go to your graphic card official website for example I am having AMD so I'll go to AMD's official website and there's an auto detect tool which they provide so you can download an auto detect tool for your graphic card if you install that tool it will automatically detect if any of the update is available for your graphic card and install it. So that's it for updating your drivers. These were the all five workarounds to fix lagging and shutting of the game Resident Evil 7 Biohazard 7. Thank you for watching this video. If this works for you, please hit the like button below. For any further queries, please type in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.